got one day left for muzzleloader season. We've not been out yet. Just hoping for some snow. Love hunting in the snow. <laughs> Just like everybody else. It's been kind of a another weird winter so far. Wet and dark and dreary and overcasted and no snow. Had snow back in November a little bit, but that was about it. Might get some tomorrow. Tomorrow being the last day of muzzleloader season. Might just try to pop out in the woods and see what we can do. We got a lot of dough up here on our property and should harvest a few of them, but I don't know. <laughs> it's It just seems to never happen, but we got to make it happen. It would be good to get a dough. Nice to have the meat also. Got a lot of meat off that buck that I shot back in November. 35 pounds of burger, I think. Plus all the steaks and roasts and yeah, mm, good stuff. I think that we're going to go down in the woods and continue with the wood cutting process because we do not have enough wood to get through the winter. This is all we got left. There's a little, little row in here inside this one a little bit. Not very big though. Just that little bit right there. Thinking of taking the bobcat down there and cleaning some of them logs out of the creek. I'm afraid if we ever did get a lot of rain, some of that stuff might just get all tangled up and mangled up in there and be even more of a mess. So today or tomorrow, we'll get down there. I'm hoping today. Gonna run up on the hill and put the battery back in the Tacticam. Pulled that out. Charge it up. There is some cold air coming. Doesn't look like a lot of snow, but winter seems to be moving north more and more every year. They're even having a hard time getting snow up in the Adirondacks where we go and ride. Thanks for watching Summit Outdoors. My name is Dave. If you're new to the channel, appreciate you liking and subscribing. If you like the content, Just went up and got the Tacticam back online. Um, of course, now it's raining out again. So, well, just as quick as it started raining, it quit. So, I might be in luck. Need to get moving though. It's cold. Taking a little break. I'm down to the coffee shop with the college students. Snack. Nice little coffee shop in town. Oh. Nice healthy meal right there, salad. Lunch for the girls.
guy along. Good to get outside and do some chainsawing. We had it is a complete mess down in here, but we're making way. That's a huge mess. It's a nice little island right here. We like to come down to in the summertime and play with the dogs. Probably seen it on one of my other videos. Oh, just taking a little break here. Got quite a few logs gathered up, so we're gonna go up and get the bobcat. Get these logs out of here, out of the creek. All this brush that we can, sort it out. We'll go back over here, get all these logs out, piled up, get the brush out of the creek. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> Gotta love it. Spitting snow.
clean up that pile there. We'll go on the other side of the creek, clean all that out, then come back over, get those logs out, clean up that debris, pile it up. Got a heck of a pile of logs started already. Well, it's getting late in the evening and it's starting to snow a little bit more and more and it is wet down in here. Wow. Got a pile of logs over there closer to the road. Got the creek cleaned out quite a bit. Still got a little bit down in this area I'd like to do, but probably just do that. Just chainsaw and... Um, get the ranger down in here tomorrow probably get these logs I'll turn the camera around we'll get these logs buzzed up here these logs right here smaller stuff probably just buzz it up throw it in the ranger haul it up the hill but got all this cleaned out pretty good and we were transporting some of the logs over there closer to the road But it's a soupy soppy mess over here. To be continued. There's a lot to do, but boy, is it muddy. Man. Very limited to what you can do in all this mud. So. Well, I ended up sticking around anyways and buzzing up most of that limb wood. It's got a little bit left right there. It is getting dark. And I'm getting wore out. So, this is really the end for today. Well, thanks for watching Summit Outdoors. I appreciate you tuning in to this uh, episode of Cleaning Up the Woods again. I'm sure there'll be many more like this. Had a good time down here this afternoon. Playing in the mud. Cutting up some firewood. Probably be back at tomorrow if we don't get a whole heck of a lot of snow. We'll catch you on the next one. I think I could sit down here all night, listen to this. <laughs>